What's your role on the Pantheon? Uh, old man. Uh, my job on the Pantheon is to bring John his morning coffee. <laughs> I really thought that, hey, we should build it as a really like democratic institution process where everyone understands what's necessary. Uh, I think we were kind of annoyed because we had a ton of votes for all these bylaws and things like that. Um, but now it all actually runs really smoothly. We actually did a really good job. Everyone understands what your expectations are. It's, we've never had a problem. Everything gets done. Some people like to cook. A lot of people like to eat. Um, you know, the cleaning, it doesn't take that long when a few people take care of it. But yeah, I mean, so that, you know, that's my role. I mean, if we really had to like honestly rank people in terms of their value to the team, you know, I'm definitely probably in the lower half. Although actually, I guess my name maybe helps a little bit, you know, with sponsorship and things like that. Lately, I'd say I've taken more of like an organizational role. Um, there's a dynamic when you get a big group of people, which is that if you say, hey, maybe we should build a red deck to test against, it's probably not gonna get done. But if you say, Andrew, could you please build a red deck to test against? He's happy to do it. And the same thing goes with, hey, maybe we should have a meeting to uh, talk about booster draft versus, hey, we're going to have a meeting tonight at seven o'clock in the living room. Everyone be there. Then people will be there. So I'm often the one, you know, scheduling the events and uh, keeping track of our results when we do drafts and mock tournaments, stuff like that. I guess I'm kind of a contrarian. So I often question a lot of the ideas people have and ask people why they have cards in their deck. Try to make myself available. Um, you know, deck building has never been my strong suit. So I feel like if I'm gonna sit around playing games of modern, um, it's gonna benefit the team more if the people who are very good at building decks are able to, to use my time as, you know, to learn the matchups. Okay, we have a couple of people that are brewers. We have Ben Rubin, we have Nassif. Those guys are building decks, and I'm mostly playing them against stock decks, and I'm telling them, all right, this is too far. <laughs> this is just not playable at this point. Playing so long, I've played so many tournaments, I yeah, got a pretty good idea if this is doing something or it's not doing something. I guess I'm the person who brews up a lot of the decks. A, a lot of people, you know, we, we want to really have good decks and not miss anything, and that it takes a lot of effort to do that. So it, it, a lot of people on the team tried, you know, are, are all trying to do the same thing, but there, there's a lot of pressure to not mess it up. No, all these people know me too well to trust me with like logistics or anything like that. So, I mean, it's the usual logistical stuff. I mean, you have to go grocery shopping every two days at least, usually every day. We don't even go out to eat all that much because it's just more convenient to cook something in here. Because I mean, we only have those um, those two weeks, and I mean, ideally, you just want to play magic all the time. Uh... My contribution to the team is probably the cooking. And it's nice to watch people eat your food. They're like, oh, this is great. Instead of eating chips and cereal and, you know, sandwiches. Usually I wake up before everyone, so I just like clean up the kitchen, clean up the tables and stuff. But yeah, cooking too. You know, Kai cooks a lot. We have Antonino now who seems to enjoy cooking. The best part of it is like we're all friends, we're all kind of hanging out. Uh, you know, we have people cooking us food, which is great. Like my friends cooking me food is awesome. The food's great. You know, Kai and Sif tend to cook a fair bit. Uh, Antonino's cooking here too. Yelger helps out some there. I guess I'm talking about all the non-Americans. I guess we're all lazy. I made pasta a couple of times. You know, I try to make it as filthy as possible. Some bacon, some mushrooms some cream, uh, things of that nature. But I think pasta is good because everybody needs carbs to keep going.